Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Wichita State Shockers and the Houston Cougars. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. I tell you what, if you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Cougars are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First of all, it's up to the point guard to be the leader, to control the entire tempo of the game. Second of all, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And lastly, be monsters on the boards. Don't be afraid to get tangled up. Crash the glass. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. It's two at the charity strike. Trying to feed inside. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Perfectly executed. Now they'll bring it up. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Try to go inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He takes it away. He's trying to see if there's an easy one out there. Knocks it down. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. Jumps in. Perfectly executed. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Here's the offensive drop step and the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. There's the trap. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Fakes the jumper. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for the foul. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. <laughs> they look to get it to the inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble. Gives it up. Stolen. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dumps it in. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Play results in a backcourt violation. You have to take care of the rock, baby.
The small forward handles the feed. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought that was definitely an offensive charge. Steals a pass. Dunn receives the pass. Up and inside. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. You're right. The student sections, the bands, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Try to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. He uses the shot fake. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Had a momentary look from three-point land. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. He intercepts it. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Basket falls despite the contact. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Great play to take that to the basket. What a response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Picked off. The point guard handles the pass. Got the high pick for the bucket. Doesn't go. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I think he tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Tries for two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Dunn receives the ball. Stolen away. Dunn's modest performance is bringing down his confidence level. Well, he knows he's not getting it done, and emotionally, it's bringing him down. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Good job defensively. Goes up for two. He nails the shot. Up and inside. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. For two, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Robs him of the ball for the bucket. He gets it to fall. 
That's an eight nothing run. On the outside, he goes for three, gets it to fall. He's got to get rid of it. Kicks it out. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Look at that spacing. Rollin fakes the shot. Pump fakes. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Perfectly executed. The skip pass is picked off. Goes up for two. And he missed. On the dribble, gives it up. The Cougars have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. From the top of the circle, McCray buries the three-pointer. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. Thinks about the shot. Here's a double team. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Makes it. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Stolen away. On the dribble, gives it up. Nielsen in the paint, scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them, they're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Rims out, boards it. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Aaron's right about that, Dick. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, if you have a great post play, you got a chance really to win. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. On the inside. And he goes with a spin. The ball's swatted. Player swatted as well. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. 
<laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Tickles a twine. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from long range. He shows the sweet touch. Gave it up. He dials long distance. Way off target. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Foul called. Got it. He gets the foul and the bucket. That's how you do it when you want to win, baby. The Cougars go to the line for the first time in this game. It goes in. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He comes away with it. On the outside, there's a bad pass right to the defender. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. On the dribble, gives it up. And this one's going to be a backcourt violation. Got to make good decisions with the ball, Brad. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. This is great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He shoots. That was nice. Gave it up. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Obvious foul. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Great play to take that to the basket. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Picks off the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. From the top of the key. He buries it. He's got some room. Got a nice screen. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The pressure that basketball, help one another communicate. Thompson is feeling great out there right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions.
He goes to the free throw line. He buries it. He misses the second shot. The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. Tries to get the D to bite. And they get the turnover. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Intercepted on the dribble, gives it up, puts it up, looking for contact. Easy one. perimeter. Dump it inside. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. for two. Perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They come with a double team to stop it. The Cougars have got to continue to get in the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Fakes the shot. Now the high screen. Turnaround jumper. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He unloads, buried it. Shot clock is dead. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. That spin move's not going to work against the defense. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Off the mark with that shot. At the half. The Cougars trail by one. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. Houston allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. This is how upsets happen. The underdog starts to play well. The crowd begins to cheer them on. And the next thing you know, the team that's not supposed to win gets the W. You know, Bradley, that's exactly how it happens. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. 
The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the fake. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, you kidding me? That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. In the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. left to the circle. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on the playground. Looking for a good shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Goes up for two. And he missed. Can't get the shot to go. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. in front to take it away. What a great strip. Sinks the shot. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That's a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. The Cougars are ahead by eight. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The power forward with the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. Oh, yes. From three-point land. He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. 
Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. Steele go up the other way. Get a layup. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. And the fans here are loving the action. Brown, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. The outside had a momentary look from three-point land off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fires away. Nice shot. He's going to see this guy in his sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Picks off the lazy pass. The high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Time to pick up the defense here now. Too much. That's a foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Got to take some flight on a defensive end. Steal. Puts it on the floor and up and under. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They work the perimeter. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble. Gives it up. Double team now, Ben Angle. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Steals the ball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for contact. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? He intercepts it. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Easy one. You can appreciate this more after watching the replay. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Number five makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark on either side of the floor, Brad. The shooting guard takes the pass in the paint. He gets that one to fall. Turnaround jumper. 
Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He better get rid of it. Stolen. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Is there enough in the tank for a comeback here, Dick? Stranger things have happened, Mr. Nestle, but time's winding down. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Look at that student body. They are going mad. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. It's good. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from outside. It sticks. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Can't get it to go. Look at that spacing. There's the trap. Unloads. Dick, they are loving it behind that line. Hey, as long as you're hitting, the loving is good, baby. Taken away. With a long bomb. He shoots from the baseline. This one has really gotten ugly, my friend. Yeah, it's all but over unless things change in a hurry. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. Gave it up. He fires away, way off target. Trying to draw the foul. That's a 10-0 run. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait and see, Brad. Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle, he gets the bucket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, remember, heading into tonight, there was a lot of questions about the favorites' ranking. But after this comeback, it seems like they're pretty worthy of that spot. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. The 
The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. Trying to draw some contact. There's a double team waiting there. From way outside. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Knocks it down. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Let's it fly. Off the rim and no good. Working around the arc for three. He nails the bucket. That's seven unanswered. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. Here they come now on a turnover. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post-play because they were really anticipating the spin. with a foul. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Up and inside. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Gave it up. Fans are pleased now, given the fact that this game is really out of reach. It's almost an expectation, Brad. You're supposed to win your home game, but winning by this amount, my goodness. Tan on the shot clock. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Especially when you get great post position on the interior. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special arm, feeding the post. Side. From beyond the arc. Got it. He tries the three ball, drains it. Down low, there's a drop step and off, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. <laughs> a 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Pushing that basketball. Three. Tickles the twine. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. Great shot. And the fans are going wild. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Basic. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He makes the shot. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover racers are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, we're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Double team now, bad angle. Drains the shot. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Makes a great move to draw the foul. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. He missed it. And the free throw woes continue. This is embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Puts it up. Tan on the shot clock. Shot clock is dead. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. They just keep rolling along, Dick. We kind of expected it would go this way, and they came out on top of the ball game. I'll tell you one thing. It's all about winning. It's all about executing and getting to the locker room with the W, and that's what they were able to do. Survive and win. Houston made this one look embarrassingly easy tonight. Well, they came into favorites, and it did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.